Good morning and welcome to Rogers Gardens. I'm going to talk about how to plant up a special kind of wall hanging called a Wally Pocket that we have been selling and many people admire. Here we have a couple of them, several of them, planted up as herb gardens, but you can do plant anything you like as long as it's a small scale. Um, and often though people say, I don't know how to plant that. So um, I'm here to show you how. First thing you do is take soil and put it inside. <laughs> and make sure you get it all across the bottom. And how much you put inside in the beginning depends upon the size of the pot um, that you're, of the plant you're putting in. In other words, the root ball size. So for instance, this pot, four inches, about five inches deep, so it's to be just about there because you want the edge of the, the uh, wally pocket to be a little higher than the top of the soil of the plant. So I've got it about as deep as I want it to be for the four inch pots. I'll have to adjust for the, the um, six packs, but I'll show you how to do that. So the tallest plant is what you start with, and I put, like to put that in the middle uh, because I tend to be a symmetrical person. You can do whatever you like. Now, if you say, well, I don't know how tall it's going to be, almost all of our plants come with a tag, and the tag will give you a height, 18 to 32 inches at its maturity. So this Italian parsley I wouldn't count on 32, but 18 easily. You could put that right in the middle. I take it out of its pot. Stay. Give it a little squeeze for good luck, and that pulls out gently so that you don't damage the roots or the top, and just set it on top. Then I put a little soil on the side where I'm going to work next to it because you don't want air pockets between the plants. Now what I want to do right in the center to bring your eye to the center is I'm going to use a little bit of color. Bidens are wonderful. Now it says here the Bidens 8 to 12 inches so it's going to be a little bit shorter than the parsley which is perfect because we're slanting, we're creating a, an outline. So what I have here is I've planted them all up. I have uh, Greek oregano, I have Bidens, I have Italian parsley, and over here I have boxwood basil. And uh, so it looks like we're going to make a nice lasagna here, perhaps. Um, I have put them all in according to the height of the root ball so that nothing drops down in too far and nothing stands up too far. Once it's all planted, pardon the mess, I am going to put my fingers down in and snug those roots because roots don't like air pockets around them. And you can feel with your hands I tend to not use gloves when I do small pots because then I can feel better. Um, and it's all snugged in. Now, fertilizing. If I was going to fertilize this as I planted it, I would have mixed a, um, all, an organic fertilizer. Here we have two that are an all-purpose and a rose and flower. Either one would be appropriate. And they're granular. You mix that in with the soil as you're planting. The other one, if you want, didn't forgot or have a different kind of personnel uh, fertilizer, would be to use a liquid fertilizer. And you could use that in your watering in liquid. So you mix that up and water it in, because that is the last step you do for one of these, uh, for any planting, in fact, is to water it in so that, again, you're eliminating air pockets around the roots and you're giving it adequate water for those roots to grow out. That's how you do that. So there we are. You have a beautiful pot 
uh, <laughs> basket to hang on your wall, your fence, uh, wherever you like. It has to be sturdy because this does get heavy when it's wet. Thank you so much for watching.